Hi everyone, my name is Esther Seitz and I'm the cellist of the Bowery Trio. We're so excited to have you all here and to be presenting this recital to you, uh, featuring the wonderful music of Latin American composers. Um, I'm going to be joining you tonight to give you a little bit of insight on each piece and composer as we move throughout the program. First, I'm going to start with, of course, the first piece on our program, which is a good place to start, which is entitled Tres Piezas para Piano, or in English, Three Pieces for Piano, by Mexican composer Sylvester Revueltas. Revueltas lived from 1899 to 1940 and was born in Santiago, Papasquiaro, Mexico. He was a composer, teacher, and violinist, best known for his colorfully orchestrated music of distinctive rhythmic vitality. Revuelta studied violin and composition in Mexico City from 1913 to 1916. He studied at St. Edward College in Austin, Texas from 1916 to 1918, and at the Chicago Musical College from 1918 to 1920. His major works are symphonic poems on Mexican subjects such as Sensa Maya, which is based on a poem by Nicolas Guillén, but he also wrote chamber music, songs, and film scores. In this piece that you'll hear tonight, there are three pieces entitled Cancion, which means song, Adagio, and Allegro. There are some notes in the score before the first two movements of the piece that I'd like to read to you all before you hear the piece because they're just really interesting and it's something that you don't normally get to see when a performer is performing because you're not getting to look at the score. So movement one, Cancion, a calm, gentle, melancholy Mexican native song. Note the rhythmically free dialogue between the two hands, so it means right and left hand on the piano. The phrases of each hand overlap throughout the piece. For instance, the first phrase in the right hand is two measures long, but the first left hand phrase is much longer, gliding in the sixth measure. This procedure makes the piece sound like a single, united phrase. Movement two, Allegro. This piece is notable for its unusual harmonic color, two keys being used at the same time. To this, polytonality, an intriguing rhythmic scheme based on polyrhythms, is added. For example, the left hand is written in 6-8 time throughout, but the 6-8 time of the right hand varies from 6-8 to 8-4. And unfortunately, there were no notes listed for the final movement, but I thought that these um, notes that he wrote were very interesting, and um, I hope that you can hear some of what he's talking about, some of that rhythmic complexity and the free dialogue in each of the movements. Um, and I hope you enjoy the piece. Please enjoy Alison Wong, pianist of the Bowery Trio, performing Sylvester Wawaltas's Tres Piezas para Piano. Thank you. 
Our next piece of the evening is a work for solo clarinet performed by Mark Allen Jr., clarinetist of the Bowery Trio. The piece is entitled Ansias, meaning craving in English, and is composed by Esteban Eitler. Eitler lived from 1913 to 1960 and was an Austrian-Chilean composer. He studied at the University of Budapest. Leaving Europe in 1936, he went to Buenos Aires, where he was associated with modernist music groups, which you might be able to hear in um, this piece. You'll probably be able to hear some of that modern influence. Um, in 1945, he settled in uh, Santiago, Chile. So that's just a little bit about Esteban Eitler. And without further ado, please enjoy Mark performing the beautiful and virtuosic Ansias.
The next piece on our program is Astor Piazzolla's Tango Etude No. 4. Piazzolla is one of the most well-known Latin American composers, and his music is extremely well-loved all over the world. He lived from 1921 to 1992 and was from Argentina. He was a virtuoso on the bandoneon, which is a square built button accordion, who left traditional Latin American tango bands in 1955 to create a new tango that blended elements of jazz and classical music. Before we continue, I'd like to tell you a little bit about tango, the style of the dance and the style of the music. Tango is a vibrant and lively dance between two people. It originates from the streets of 18th century Buenos Aires in Argentina and Montevideo in Uruguay. The quick rise in its popularity enabled the famous dance to quickly expand out of South America and out to the rest of the world. With the rich history, numerous types and styles, and incredible appeal, tango dance remains one of the most popular dances in the entire world. Here is a short video from Puerto Madero in Buenos Aires, Argentina, of a couple dancing on the street and they're dancing the tango. This will give you a little bit of the idea of the style of the dance and the music. <laughs> Now, that is really exciting. I love watching that video, and I'm so glad I found it to show you all. Um, you can actually see more of that video on YouTube. I will remember to put the link um, in the description box for this concert. Uh, so check that out after if you want to see. It's really great. So a little bit more about Piazzolla's Tango Etudes. So Piazzolla's Tango Etudes reinvent the tango to include elements of fugue, chromaticism, dissonance, jazz, and expanded instrumentation, which, as we read a little bit earlier, and when we were reading through his bio, um, it was mentioned that Piazzolla left original, traditional Latin American tango bands to pursue um, a new tango that blended more elements of jazz and classical. So it's interesting, you can actually see that in his tango etudes, since he's including a lot of classical um, and jazz elements in the tango etudes. Um, they were originally written for flute or violin in 1987, but now uh, plenty of instruments play these etudes. Uh, for example, tonight, Mark Allen is playing the clarinet. The collection of six short etudes explores varying facets of tango. Etude number four specifically displays the intimate and lyrical side of the tango with weightless glissandos, tentative dynamics, and sensual melodies. Really hope you enjoy Mark performing Tango Etude number four.
The last piece on our program tonight is the first movement from a three movement work entitled Danzas Latinoamericanas or Latin American Dances by composer Jose Elizondo. The movement is entitled Otoño en Buenos Aires, meaning Autumn in Buenos Aires. First, a little bit about the composer. Jose Elizondo, born in 1972, received degrees in music and electrical engineering from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. At Harvard University, he studied musical analysis, orchestration, and conducting. MIT awarded Jose the Gregory Tucker Memorial Prize for Music and selected him as a Burchard Scholar. His main teachers at MIT and Harvard were professors Peter Child, Edward Cohen, Lowell Lindgren, Bill Cutter, James Yanatos, Constance Zafotis, and Jameson Marvin. As a part-time composer, he works with performers around the world to create compositions for orchestra and chamber ensembles. In a glowing quote from the San Jose Mercury News, Jordan Legone writes, when one of Elizondo's compositions is performed today by the San Jose Symphony at the San Jose America Festival, he'll not only become the youngest living composer to ever have his music played by the orchestra, but he'll also be bolstering the bridge the symphony has been trying to forge with the Latin American community. The piece Danzas Latinoamericanas was originally commissioned by Mexican cellist Carlos Prieto. It is based on some of the national dances of Argentina, Brazil, and Mexico, respectively. The movement I will be performing today, as is written on Elizondo's website, is indebted to the concert-style tangos of Astor Piazzolla, as well as the extraordinary songs of Carlos Gardel. We talked a little bit about tango and Piazzolla um, before the previous piece on our program, and I'd like to show you another video example before the piece is performed to give you an idea of some of the things Elizondo is describing in the quote from his website specifically the songs of Carlos Gardel. Here's a video from 1930 of Carlos Gardel performing his song, Mano a Mano. Chiflao en mi tristeza, te busco y veo que ha sido en mi pobre vida paria, solo una buena mujer. Tu presencia de bacana puso calor en mi nido, fuiste buena consecuente y yo sé que me has querido, como no quisiste a nadie, como no podrás querer. Se dio el juego de remanche cuando vos pobre percalta, gambeteabas la pobreza en la casa de pensión. Hoy sos toda una bacana, la vida te ríe y canta, los morlacos de notarios los tiras a la marchanta, como juega el gato en maula con el mísero ratón. Thank you so much for joining us for this concert today. I sincerely hope that you enjoyed the program so far. Without further ado, here's our final piece for the night, Otoño en Buenos Aires by Jose Elizondo.
Hi, my name is Esther and I'm the cellist of the Bowery Trio. Thank you so much for tuning into our performance today and letting us share music with you all. We are sincerely thankful for your support. We are also very grateful to Chamber Music America for supporting these concerts through their digital residency grant. A really important part of this residency is the opportunity for us to share music with young musicians and inspire them to start their musical journeys. Sometimes beginning musical studies can feel overwhelming for both students and parents as they navigate through the world of classical music. Because of this, we as a trio have compiled a document which lists a variety of free online resources that both students and parents can use to find instruments, teachers, mentors, programs, and more. The link to this document is listed in the description box below this video, but if you're having trouble finding it, please email us at BoweryTrio at gmail.com and we will do our best to get the information to you as soon as possible. Thank you again for joining us today and we look forward to sharing music with you again soon.